Welcome to the Dr. Data Show. I'm Eric Siegel. The absolutely coolest thing in science and engineering is machine learning, when computers learn from the experience encoded in data. I shall now support that hypothesis. We humans build and explore. We build tall buildings and airplanes, and we explore down to the depths of the ocean to the microscopic sizes of quantum particles, and then back up high into space. So far, there's no air to breathe. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, but now I realize outer space is a vacuum, and vacuums totally suck. Transcending all that, the ultimate final frontier is for us to make use of our automatons, computers, for the most all-encompassing of tasks, getting better at tasks, that is, learning. Computers can learn to perform well at games, at identifying objects and photographs, at medical diagnosis, and at predicting behavior of customers, employees, voters, convicts. Now, many things are simply impossible to predict with high accuracy. We can only at best put rough probabilities on whether a certain person will click, buy, lie, die, or any other outcome or behavior, even if we had a reading of every neuron in their brain. Computers, of course, usually know far less about a person than that, normally a few dozen or perhaps a few hundred details about the person and their prior goings on. But even lousy predictions are super valuable. Just predicting better than guessing helps organizations improve decision making at a massive scale. For example, if 5% of your customers cancel each month, knowing which of them are three times as likely to do so, that is, who have a probability of 15% to cancel, makes a world of difference for the marketing, making it more efficient and effective, and in some cases, literally multiplying the profit many times over. And the exact same thing applies for predicting which patients are of greater risk of dying. That empowers more efficient and effective healthcare. Now, when machines learn to make these judgment calls, it's basically like a kind of magic. Here's what I mean. The machine's got to take into consideration all the dozens or hundreds of factors known about a case, situation, or individual, like for predicting the future success of, say, a new startup company. Given a long list of factors, such as about the founders, their history, the nature of the business, etc., how should the computer weigh or combine all these factors to calculate the most precise probability as to whether the startup will eventually succeed? More to the point, how could the computer automatically learn to do that? Well, you give the computer training data, a long list of prior examples of startup companies and whether each one went on to succeed or fail, and then machine learning discovers what it can from the data. It's an automatic trial and error process that derives and tries out and keeps on modifying and improving patterns or formulas that will help predict for new startup companies which for which of course we don't yet know the future outcome. In this way the computer is basically programming itself. What makes this process magic is that the generalizations it draws from past examples turn out to work, to hold true when applied to new never before seen situations. The technical word for this is induction, the act of generalizing from examples, of leaping from a set of particulars to universals. When your computer does this, that means it's capturing truth about how the world works, discerning the means behind the madness of the universe. It's a kind of scientific discovery done automatically. Now, there's an art to all this, to taking on this ultimate challenge. To engineer and design these learning methods, you need not only some clever math, but also a kind of art, by which I mean informal human intuition. The field of machine learning couldn't succeed without that human creativity. And succeed it does. It kicks ass at it. So, I hereby designate machine learning the most interesting, fascinating, awesome, and promising branch of technology, period. And let's take it a step further 
It ain't just a neat idea on paper. Machine learning is extremely valuable and I would dare say important. It's the latest evolutionary step of the information age where we've moved from the application of engineering to collect and manage bigger and bigger data to the application of science to learn from that data, from all the experience encoded in that data. The ability to predict behavior and outcomes better than guessing, which relies on data and machine learning, is the holy grail for all the main functions undertaken by companies, governments, law enforcement, and hospitals. With prediction, you combat risk, fortify healthcare, boost sales, conquer spam, streamline manufacturing, toughen crime fighting, and win elections. Every day, machine learning affects all of us because it actively drives millions of decisions as far as whom to call, mail, test, diagnose, investigate, incarcerate, set up on a date, and medicate. Harvard Business Review calls machine learning the most important general purpose technology of our era. It's the coolest. I'm Eric Siegel, thanks for watching. Hit like and share this video if your friends may also be interested in machine learning. And for access to the entire web series, go to thedoctordatashow.com. Who's your dad on? Predictive analytics can help you with decisions. You can call, mail, credit, or hire with precision. On law, love, and life, you can prognosticate whom to investigate, incarcerate, set up on a date, or medicate. Charlie Brown never gets his kicks. That's why every old dog needs a brand new trick. If you get sick of chasing sticks or clicks with just a quick fix, you need to learn I to predict. predict your every move